Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope I reach as many people that resonate with this message, please, and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's, mm, voice cracking up here. All right, all right. Okay, somebody's going through a change because why is my voice cracking? All right, let's go ahead and ground. Releasing all that negative energy, only welcoming that good, positive energy. This is for all my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius. All right. So as I was saying that, my voice was cracking, and immediately what came in my head is somebody going through a change like puberty, right? Um, and you know, like, I'm a grown adult. I'm not going through puberty, but even though, like, um, I was getting somebody going through some type of huge change. Because whenever you think about puberty, you think about somebody going from a child to a young adult and experiencing changes that they may have heard about or not heard about, depending on their education system and, you know, their, you know, parental system if somebody taught them or not. So there's a lot of different changes that you are going through or undergoing right now that you may have heard about or not heard about, but they're very different. And it's like, it's like mind, it's mind bending and mind opening. Okay. So you have been having some mind bending experiences lately. You have really woken up. You have really been like picking up on the signs of synchronicities. You've always picked up on the signs of synchronicities, but it's been like up there, up there, up there. So you know something's up. So let's go ahead and put some advice on this. What are we going to use? I'm going to use some love. I don't feel like I've really done a love reading for a Sagittarius in a long time. Okay. So let's see. First thing out, we have attraction. And this is like an attraction where you're able to stop and smell the roses. Okay, baby. Okay. So you're really able to stop and smell the roses. You're attracting um, a love and you're going to be able to enjoy it fully. Okay. You're, you're really paying attention. You're, you're really able to just like breathe in. You're really able to just like enjoy the moment. Then we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Then we have very soon. Okay, now. So, with this very soon, it, it's not very soon, like, it's very soon that you, something that you need to do, okay? Because as we attract what we want, it's because we're changing and we're being what we want to attract, right? Does that make sense? So, it's like we are becoming what we want to attract, okay? That's a better way of saying it. So you're, you're like, you're making up your mind exactly what you want. And as that is being made up, you're becoming that, right? And you know that it's worth taking the effort, right? It's worth working on yourself because as you grow and you know that you can't do anything without growing, you want the same thing in your partnership and your relationship. And then we have express your love. Okay. So it looks like because you have been working on yourself and because you have been doing you and because you have been very much so in the energy of healing and you know, you're not a person that blames, you're not a person that is in this why me, pity me type of energy. No, uh, you may feel that way sometimes, but you're very much so a person that's going to work on it. You're going to work on it. You're, you're going to continue to grow. You're going to continue to learn those lessons that you have, you know, been put on this planet on this time period for this reason to learn some of these lessons and really understand. So as you're doing that, somebody is seeing you as very attractive. Oh my goodness, y'all. All of these just dropped, drop, 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 drop. So somebody is seeing you as very attractive right now. And as they're seeing you as very attractive, it's like they wanna come in and make this romantic gesture and they, they really wanna be playful about it. They really want to be playful about it. They they understand that you are this free-spirited person. Look at all these cards that fail, y'all. They understand that you are this free-spirited person. And they want you to understand that they want you to be safe. They want you to be safe. They want you to understand that this is going to be a safe situation for you. They're going to understand. They're going to take their time. They're not going to be rushing anything. But they can already see a higher level of commitment with you. They can already see... You, you doing a lot of great things together. They feel like your souls are coming together from, you know, miles away. This is definitely like a past life relationship. And because you love yourself first, 
<laughs> this is making it so amazing for them because they know that you're only going to accept something that is great and they want to be great and they're working on themselves to be great as you're working on your stuff to be great. You're already great, but you know, greater. So there's going to be amazing chemistry here and it's going to be a lot of, you know, just wonderfulness. It's going to be a lot of wonderfulness as you get to know each other, as you, you know, really begin to build, as you delve deep and learn each other's love languages, as you really, you know, just hone in on the things you like on the things you don't like, on, on the experiences that you've gone through. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and amazing. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on this. So that was a lot. This is absolutely amazing. So, like, <laughs> there's a very strong love opportunity coming in, and that's because you've been working on yourself. That's because you tired of the knuckleheads. That's because you've learned your lesson about the knuckleheads and you're not repeating. You're not going back to any of those karma cycles. You're breaking those generational curses. You're not under, you're understanding this cyclical pattern and you understand that you don't want to go back to that. <laughs> now we have the six of cups with the two of cups. So it's really like, this is going to be like a past life relationship and it's going to be something that is very unique. Like, look at this. This look like the same people. They're just growing older together and getting wiser and getting more. And really, you know, as their ships are selling in, they're, they're learning each other and just becoming one. Then we have the King of Wands. So it's definitely like in the energy of this person really wanting to treat you a certain way. They really wanted to treat you a certain way and they're understanding a lot as well. But like, I'm getting still that you make a princess of swords. You may have your boundaries up, but you really need to have your open mind to this. Have an open mind to this because this person automatically coming in knowing that <laughs> they, they knowing that you're not just going to accept anything. They're, they're coming in knowing that they're going to have to show up very big, right? And ain't nothing wrong with that because it's, it's time for you to, you know, get somebody that treats you exactly how you need to be treated. Not want to, how you need to be treated. We have this two of disc here. So it's not going to be any more balancing. This person is very level-headed. There's not going to be any balancing. There's going to be something where they have to, you know, time management is very important to this person. And they understand, like, it's not going to be like waiting for anybody texting and no calling and, you know, all of that shit. It's not going to be any of that. That this person is definitely okay. Where you, where you have the Prince of Sword, we have, I mean, the Princess of Swords, we have the Prince of Sword as well. So, this person also is gonna, you know, have been through some shit where they're gonna be able to, you know, both of you are gonna have your boundaries up in certain ways, but you're gonna be able to break each other's boundaries down in a good way. You know what I'm saying? You, because you're gonna understand that neither one of y'all are playing because they've been in situations where they could have got their heart broken as well. So they understand where you've come from. Ace of Cups. And they want to love you. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. So this person definitely wants to come and, you know, get your cup runneth over. They, they want to show you a lot of love. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use both of my decks. So... They have the True Heart Intuitive deck, and this is my favorite deck. We got the Page of Pentacles. So, you know what? This is something that you've been manifesting for a long time. This is something that's going to, um, somebody that's going to be very diligent about you. This is somebody that sees your ambition, that's going to want to help you. And, you know, they, they're going to want to, you know, if they see you wanting to build a business, they're going to want to put some monetary into that. They're going to want to see you succeed. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, and they're going to be very consistent with this, baby. Okay. Something that really turns me on is consistency. Okay. Because we too young to be like, I mean, we too young. <laughs> okay. So there was something that happened maybe when you were younger that made you like think that you did not were not deserving of something. But now as you grow up, 
and you're realizing i don't care like if when if it was when you were older younger whatever you were just in a younger vibration a, a lower vibration a, a different mind state okay so whatever age this happened to you it, it really made you feel like you were not worthy but now you realize that you're worthy of everything the sun the moon the stars the mountains i give you the world <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're definitely worthy of everything. And because you are worthy of everything and you may have gone through something, it may be harder for you to accept. Okay? But it's your time to receive because I feel like you are the one that's normally the giver. It's your time to receive justice. Okay? It's time for justice. It's time for fairness. It's time for truth and equality. So it's time for that some of that equal give and take for some of that shit to get be given back to you. And it's your time. Don't don't worry about those betrayals. Don't worry about those things that happened in the past. You have to really just give yourself and your mind a clean slate for this person. And we have the sun. And you know who the fuck you are. <laughs> and then what do we have? The ten of pentacles. So, you know, with the sun is everything. Um, there's a lot of happiness. There's there's and then we have the emperor. So, you know, that's full of abundance. Abundance. You know, you are this matriarch and the ten of pentacles. It's like generational wealth. It's like you being able to achieve something that nobody else in your blood life have been able to achieve and you building on that and building on that and building on that and it just goes on and goes on and goes on. Like, I don't know why I just got the Rockefellers in the building. <laughs> but like the Rockefellers, that is a name that still, you know, people know today from before we were, before I was born. <laughs> but before a lot of us were even born. So, so it's definitely like something that's going to be very generational and you just have to don't give up. Don't give up and believe in this. And this is very much so an opportunity of a lifetime that can change your timeline. All right. All right. All right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so appreciative for everybody that is liking, commenting, and subscribing. Go ahead and get this message circulate, circulating, percolating. For anybody else that needs to hear this message, anybody else that resonates with it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.